Okay, you guys are here because I liked the last video, but I don't know how to follow it up. So I need some ideas. It should be intellectually stimulating. It should focus on mental health. Yeah, we did that in the last one though. Guys, it should totally give off summer vibes. Let me save you some time and just throw a bucket of water on your head. Why is he even here? Yeah, and why are you wearing sunglasses inside? Why are you wearing long sleeves, dude? Hey, guys, listen. And so you all have defining character traits. Okay, guys, guys, please, we're, please focus. We're here to figure out that video idea. Okay. What if we used a skit as a framing device? Isn't that what we're doing right now? Okay, that's something. Um, I like it, but what if we intro? Good question. Our life isn't that interesting. No. And we're not talented enough to pull a Peter McKinnon. Hello? Did we just do a cutaway? Dude, what are you talking about? You guys were all silent for like 30 seconds. Guys, please focus. Okay, but do we all need to be here? I mean, some of us don't have any lines. Yeah, it says here I have one line before I get interrupted. Thank you. Okay, guys, I got it. What if we introduce sun is really bright. I'm into my drive. Uh, if you look out the front, you'll definitely see that I can't see a thing, which is probably why I'm driving at 10 miles an hour. And uh, let me see if this will work for me. Nope, not at all. Okay, there we go. I can at least somewhat drive and not worry about my retinas burning out as I look directly into the sun. So I'm on my way to Niagara Falls and it's actually not that far away. It's about five hours from where I live. So it's doable in a weekend, but I've been holding off from doing it because it's Niagara Falls. So I always have this pressure to go there with really good like camera gear and a really solid plan on how to capture the beauty that is Niagara Falls. And I just decided to try to make it happen. So I did the best I could with planning on a short notice, but of course I don't have everything figured out. And part of the fun of that is that I'm gonna find out tonight if I have a place to set up my tent and sleep, or if I'm sleeping in the car. I'm on my way now to the campsite I looked up beforehand and the deal with the campsite is it's listed as a first come first serve which means it could already be filled up now as I'm driving down or could fill up at any point between now which is 6 30 and when I get down there at like 11 p.m. Um, as I mentioned I'm getting in there late so I don't know if they would close off the access road to get there or not I'm hoping not, but either way, this is potentially gonna be an adventure and we'll see how much of an adventure it's gonna be. Okay, 
Here's a dirt road and it's not blocked off, so that's good. This is supposed to be the dirt road that I can get access to um, the campsites from. So here's hoping that there's still a campsite left. But man, those last two hours were oof. Hey, I wonder if that was a spot. Okay, I see a little driveway thing here driveway a little uh spot to move your car and it has the yellow marker so this is definitely a spot okay good and i think those trees should do pretty nicely i'm here and now it's time to set up my tent and try to get like five hours of sleep before i wake up pack up and move on out so let me get on that. So hopefully this doesn't turn into a thing. I had the headlights on so I could see what I was doing to set up the tent. And when I was pretty much done, I looked at the lights and thought to myself, I think these were brighter when I started. And they were. And I underestimated how much battery power the lights use up. So I feel like a dum-dum. Um, thankfully, I have a portable battery pack here, and I'm hoping I can start the car. But if I can't, that is quite a bummer. I don't know if I have enough cell service to make a call out here, so that is a bit, um... ...concerning. But, I don't have to worry about that yet. I get to try this in about three minutes from now and I hope it works okay the timer went off so I'm gonna try this again I hope this works <laughs> uh, but do you remember when I talked about not planning for everything and um, potentially running into some issues I'm so glad the car started. I was thinking, like, what would I do if it didn't? Like, just stand in the road and hope that some of the campers come by tomorrow morning or something. And if I don't have cell service, I can't call. So, uh, oof. Well, it is about 5.15. I woke up at 4.30 and packed up in the dark. So there quite literally wasn't much to see there. Ooh, I didn't sleep super well last night, mostly due to it being cold. But on top of that, I mean, I only had the opportunity to get about three hours of sleep anyway. I went to bed at 1.30, woke up at 4.30. So, you know, not the greatest night. I'm not feeling too bad. We'll see if I crash later in the day, but for now, I'm good. I'm up and running, and uh, now it's just time to go for an hour-long drive in the dark. So I'll check back in if anything noteworthy happens, but until then, this is it for the next hour.
I'm here. I had a little bit of time to kill because the Maid of the Mist doesn't open until 8 or 9. I'm actually still trying to figure that out. But if it's 8, I got to get going. I got about 5 minutes to make my way down there. And hopefully it's not too crowded. I took a walk around to get my bearings while I was waiting. And it was pretty dead here, which is good for me. So let me not waste any more time. Let me uh, get on this Made of the Mist tour. The plan is to get out of these wet clothes, charge up some batteries, get my bike out of the car, and then head down to the uh, Cave of the Winds and get absolutely soaked again. So let me get out of these. Okay, well, thus concludes my 
Niagara Falls adventure in total. It was, let's see, I left at like 5.30 yesterday and it's now almost 9.30. So my roughly 16 hour venture is over and I'm glad I did it. It was short, but I made everything happen that was on my short list of things I wanted to do. Got it all done. Hopefully it comes out in the editing bay. And uh, there's only one more thing I wanna do before I get home. And that's got me some sweet, sweet Chick-fil-A. Now, there is a problem. The closest one is 30 minutes away, and that puts me in at like 9.50, and the Chick-fil-A closes at 10. So here's hoping that they don't close up early, although if they did, I'd totally understand. So let's see if I get Chick-fil-A. Welcome to Peter McKinnon's How to Make Pour Over Coffee. You're going to need a Chemex. That's this funky Walter White. Oh, you're still here. That was a wacky and wild video with lots of events. That happened. Definitely shot it before now. Everybody left. Video's over. Exit off. I got nothing for you.